Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted just to talk about unmarried couples and buying a home. And what we found is that there are a few pitfalls that we want to make sure we go ahead and take up front. One is, you know, given not only the divorce rate, but the amount of people that don't end up together long over a long period of time or don't stay together, buying a house together can create some issues. One is... A lot of times only one person may qualify for a mortgage but both want to be on the deed to the home and what that problem that causes is that you might both think you're owning the home and sharing while you're together but when the relationship dissolves just like in a marriage you, you have a situation where one person has the mortgage but both own the house and a lot of times the person that wants to stay in the house is not the same person that's owned the mortgage and it creates an issue and it's not like in the courts unless you want to go get a common law divorce as if you were common law married and so you don't have a court to be able to resolve this you both you're in a partnership at that point it's really kind of like an investment property you're now married in the investment and you may not want to be because you probably don't like each other that much uh, and so keep that in mind so make sure that you're that both people are on the mortgage and the deed so that you both have a financial interest at the time uh of uh, if your relationship goes south and hey look it's always great to plan even if you you know you live in a fairy tale uh existence with your uh loved one uh the the other issue that that comes up frequently is a money issue is is what's going to happen in this relationship when you're not in an established uh, marriage or a uh, long-term relationship where you have expenses and those things and what happens if that person loses their job if you're relying on two incomes to make the house note then you affect both of you and probably going to put a strain on that relationship so kind of think about that before you go into the home purchase. I don't care if it's a $50,000 house or $2 million house. Make sure you have an idea on what happens if one person loses their job. Is there enough money uh, to go around and to cover all the expenses for the good of both parties? So uh, just kind of keep those couple things in mind. And if, if there are kids involved with unmarried couples as well, you know, it, it creates that much bigger of a problem. Uh, so have those issues decided too, because we, you really don't want to disrupt the children out of the home. But if that person uh, that, that has the kids prior to the relationship, is if that person is not the one who's financially responsible for the house, the other person's got a big burden on their hands of having to kick out kids and a per, another person, uh, their, their former uh, girlfriend or boyfriend, who has kids and and that's just not a good thing but yet they're financially responsible so that it's probably the right thing to do but you don't want to be stuck in that situation those are just a few things to think about for unmarried couples if you have any questions or comments email me call your at megaagents.com have an awesome day bye bye